Hi friends, in today's video we will delve into the difference between type parameter, instance parameter and a quick look at instance report parameter inside a Revit family. We open up our building plate family, go to family types and we add a new parameter. So when setting up a parameter within a Revit family, you must decide whatever to make it type based or instance based. And instance based have also the possibility to make it a reporting parameter. A reporting parameter can be used to extract the value from a geometric condition and report it in a formula or as a schedulable parameter. For it to be a schedulable parameter, we need to, we need to create a shared parameter first. I will cover shared parameters in a later video. It also can be reported in a formula, but only if its dimension references are to host elements in the family, such as levels, curtain panel boundary reference planes. If any of the dimension references is to family geometry, the dimension can be labeled with a reporting parameter, but this parameter cannot be used in a formula. So let's add an instance reporting parameter just to see what it is. As you can see, it's grayed out, so you cannot alter it, but you can add it to the drawing and use it as a reporting parameter. For instance, we have now added it to the plate length. We, we associate it with the reporting parameter. And as you can see, it's report back the value of the plate length. So basically, in this context, Revit calculates the dimension, which cannot be altered, but it provides us with the length as a numerical value. Let's delete it. To be honest, I don't use reporting parameters very often. Let's go back to type versus instance. To illustrate the differences, let's use an example involving our welding plate family. One version exclusively employs type parameters on the right side, while the other solely utilizes the instance parameters. So these three welding plates have the instance parameter, but they are the same family. And these three utilize type parameter and they are also the same family. The initial distinction lies in the parameter location. In the instance parameter family, these parameters are displayed in the properties in the front view, whereas the type parameter are located inside the edit type properties here. But the main difference is that instance parameters enables you to modify the parameter value separately for every instance. This means you can change a specific parameter in another instance of a family without affecting the original family, like this welding plate instance family. So if I change plate width on this object to 400, we apply it. As you can see, the only object that changed was this object. Both length and nothing of the other two changed. When I change the parameter, it only affects one of the objects. The other ones are not affected. They exist independently of each other and every placement of this family is unique. What is great if you have many different objects of the same shape. While type parameters applies to all elements of that family type, you can say it, they are linked together. So if I change one of the parameters, for instance, width, every object of that type will change because they are type parameters. This works great if you have, for instance, 20 similar windows in a house building. So that is the main difference. Let's go back into the family for type, uh, family types. All of these are instance, but it is possible to create both both the instance parameters and type parameters in the same family. The drawback is you can't use type parameters in a instance parameters formulas and the other way around. A good idea to mix it up is maybe the material here will be a type parameter because every welding plate will have the same material independent of the plate length and width. 
another drawback with creating instance parameters is you can't have a fancy drop down menu that I created in the, my last video where I have B, P, B, C and A. I can't create the same with this. I can click this but the form does not change. And that's conclude our video on instance versus type parameter. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.